Good morning. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Look at the person next. Happy Sunday. Are you excited for this morning? Because the spirit of the living God is in this place. You see, the, our Lord doesn't look in the numbers, no? He looks at the heart of people. Amen? For this morning, we had a good reading. It was so good that uh, I, was, I was in the garden. And uh, speaking of the garden, you know, if, uh, Adam and Eve uh, died, they were able to put an epitaph for them. For Adam, at least my wife could not complain that I never listened. If the man, well, I married, used to be the perfect. Man. Have we ever asked ourselves, what if Adam and Eve are? Most probably there will be no sin. But they will sell the apple to Divisoria and eat the snake. <laughs> I know whenever I am confused, no, just like what we sang earlier. No, when he fills this room, it changes everything. Amen. No, it changes what we see, and he can change what we seek. When I am confused, familiar place, uh, making tough decisions in life, embarking on a business journey. No. I made it to a point, no, I made it to a habit to look back where I started from and try to analyze what happened. And somehow, most certainly, eh, I always found myself back in focus on whatever I am involved with. Sa totoo lang, with all the confusions and chaos of 2020 brought us, but uh, disclaimer lang, let us not blame the year 2020. 2020 is just a number. It has nothing to do about what is happening right now. Remember 2020? It started when Kobe Bryant died, and then everything was well, like, it's like a roller coaster ride for us. And now it's December. We didn't even notice that it's December, right? You know what? It's only fitting for us to look back where we, where we all started from. For the Lord to encourage us, for the Lord to remind us how faithful He is. That's why we read Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 to 31. Tell the person next to you, in the beginning. For Sunday morning, our sermon topic, no, ang theme natin, the title would be, In the Beginning. Because as I, as I said, when you are confused, look back where you came from. Look back how faithful your God right? Simple summary. We can sum up what Tita Fe Dumuk read a while ago. The Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 to 31. It summed up as... God created the heavens, God created the earth, and everything that lives. He made humankind in His image, in His likeness, gave them charge over the earth. Tell the person, you are in charge. There were characters in this beautiful story in chapter 1, right? We, we notice that the first character no, is God. In fact, the triune God, the Trinity. We have God, we can see God in verse 1. See the Holy Spirit in verse 2. We can see Christ in verse 26. Let's look at verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Our Heavenly Father is our Creator. And it's 
speaks there that the Spirit of God was hovering over the surface of the waters. It speaks of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Thank you, Jairus. I'll just put it here. There you go. We're having problems with our uh, feedback. Anyway, he speaks of the trying God. It, it speaks of the trying God, Genesis chapter 1, in verse 1. It speaks of the, the uh, Heavenly Father. It speaks of the, uh, the uh, Holy Spirit. And jumping to verse 26, it speaks of Christ. Now we can see here, then God said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. If this is in a plural form. This is the Trinity in fellowship, speaking. No? So voice activated is not new. Remember, have you imagined those people living in the 60s and the 70s? You know, I was a kid in the 70s. We were just playing. You know the scrap of uh, uh, yung sa carpentry? May mga scrap woods. And then we will imagine, kunyari, these are like high-tech phones. And we will talk to this, hello, over, Roger and out. And then, kunyari, we will see each other in the phone. These were like imagination of a kid during the 70s. And now it's happening. And we were, I remember we were playing that, hey, uh, 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 ano, ano ng Anthony, oi, Jasper, no? I will activate my car. Car, start now. Those were like imagination of a kid during the 70s. And now it's happening. Though everything is voice activated. There, were, there are many women in our house. There's my wife, my two daughters, there's Alexa, there's Siri. No, when you need anything, when you say, when you say uh, Alexa, turn on the lights. No, susun din kanya. These are, these are not new. In fact, everything were voice activated in Genesis chapter 1. Let there be, and there was it, right? There was power in the voice of God. Who are the characters of this beautiful st story? Well, of course, the trying God. We saw them in chapter 1, verse 1, verse 2, verse 26. The, Holy, the, the God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And of course, the first couple. Na kung Pilipino nga, malamang hindi tayo nagkasala. Kasi naibenta yung apple, nakain yung ahas. So walang kasalanan. Right? In fact, you, we, the, 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 old, the, the New Testament no, supports what, uh, what, what was written in the Old Testament. Kasi you can see, doon sa Colossians 1, 15 to 17, it says, the centrality of Christ. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For everything was created by Him. Let's be, let's be attentive. For everything was created by Him. In heaven and on earth, the visible and the invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through Him, by Him, through Him, and for Him. He is before all things, and by Him all things hold together. The only reason why we're still waking up in the morning, because everything holds together because of Jesus. The only reason why you don't have COVID-19 today, because everything holds together because of Jesus. Jesus is everything. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is here before the creation. In fact, He's a major key player 
in the creation. In John 1, 3, it says, All things were created through Him. And apart from Him, not one thing was created that has been created. It means, apart from Jesus, you will never exist. Amen? When I was in high school, we have this laboratory, we have this class, and then after the class, the science class, there is this laboratory class, remember? And uh, so most of the time, lab, lab class are like longer periods. And it is like music to our ears when we hear our teacher says, what would be the conclusion for today? And then the class will say, I therefore conclude, kasi ibig sabihin na uwi na. Now, if we will conclude what happened in chapter 1, verses 1 to 31 that was read by Sister Fe, an all-wise, all-powerful, omniscient, omnipotent, loving God formed all things perfect in the beginning. Why, why, why is this important for us to be reminded of this, especially during this time? Why? Because people are now confused. Imagine last, last week, last Friday, there will be a new lockdown for California. The following, like three days after, there will, new set, there will be new rules of lockdown in California. And then last night, on 12 midnight, there will be new rules in, of lockdown in California. Isn't it confusing? Is it confusing that up to now we're not sure if really Biden wins? <laughs> is it confusing that uh, for, for the people, for our beloved Philippines, they're still recovering from Typhoon Vamco, locally known as Typhoon Ulysses? Everyone is confused right now. December 6, as of today, we were used to, after this, supposedly, we're like feasting. Remember? After this, supposedly, after church, you will be in a Seafood City. You'll be in Macy's. You'll be in Target, JCPenney, wherever. You can buy your Christmas gifts for your loved ones. But people are staying in ho at home. Why? Because these are confusing times. That's why it's very important for us to be reminded where we came from and to be reminded that our God is the Alpha and Omega and He is still in full control of everything. Amen? Amen. And you know, He made man. No? If, you will, if you will summarize, He made man. No? Not just man, the crown of His creation. Why this, why this is the crown of His creation? Because when He says, why? Let there, be, let there be seas, let there be oceans, animals, everything. Ano yung sinasabi lagi ni Lord? It was good. But when He created the first male and female, He uttered, it was very good. Because He created the people where He can fellowship with. No? in accordance to his image and likeness. I would, uh, some, some, some theologians would claim that, oh, it's probably not, it's not physical likeness or image or whatever. I would love to claim that I, will, I, I, I look like God <laughs> in a sense of physical image or likeness. I would love that. But others would claim, oh, it means that image and likeness, it's like, you know, in likeness in terms of holiness, Righteousness, love, being merciful. No, you were made in, a, in accordance with His likeness. Whatever it is, the thing is, if you will try to extract your DNA, you will find just one DNA, and that is the DNA of God. Because we are the crown of His creation. No? perfect and capable of fellowship with himself and able to enjoy and govern the Eden. See, oh, perfect and capable of fellowship. No? 
Kasi sinadya eh, intentional. It's not about the monkeys, it's not about the lions, or, no? it's about the human being si created, perfect no? for fellowship. Sinadya niya talaga, ito ang gusto kong kasama for eternity. To enjoy these people, to, en- to enjoy their fellowship, and for these people to govern Eden. Let me share to you lessons to ponder. Five lessons to think about. Number one, it can be found in your uh, uh, Sunday bulletin. God created a perfect world. Number two, God did not work by accident or chance. Number three, God still has a perfect time for things to happen. Number four, God is perfect. And number five, God is generous and kind. Let's start with God created perfect world. Alam naman natin that the intention of God is for us to be residents of paradise, not just be U.S. citizens, but residents, no? Permanent residents of paradise. That was the intention, no? Meron kang green card doon sa Eden. The problem is, Genesis chapter 3, the fall of man, nagkasala in first couple, the original scene. The intention was there's no COVID-19, no tears, no pain, no misery, no hunger, no injustice, etc., etc., etc. We need to look back at the intention of God before you know, for us to appreciate you know, what is happening right now. God created a perfect world. Everything that God made was perfect. God examined His work. Oh, it was good. It was good. It was good. And then finally, the final touch, when He created the human beings, it was very good. Not just because of the human beings only, but all in all, no, the five days creation plus the, the, on the sixth day, everything was good. And it's so. It was good. You see, God made things that are both beautiful and complex. Now, look at the person next to you. Mukha bang maganda? O mukhang complex? <laughs> he... Imagine, the body of an animal or man has a very complex structure. Even today, with all those advanced technologies, people cannot make machines that are so complex, no? like an animal. Nakakita na ba kayo ng eksakto gumawa? Nakagawa, maaari, robot, physically, maaari kuwa-kuwa yung itsura. Painting, probably, yes. But exactly, with the exact DNA, with the exact function, no? Frankenstein were created, but still, he's Frankenstein. He looks like Frankenstein, although it's just like, alam mo yun, uh, uh, katang isip lang, pero it's just Frankenstein. That's the closest we can make, probably, Frankenstein. Because it is impossible for us to create. They say that they can clone human beings. Well, it's possible because they were able to, to, to clone uh, animals. But here's the thing. Is it like something with a purpose, just like how God intended you to be? But God did not, no, just like uh, God did not merely make those things from nothing. No, those creations, yung katabi mo, those animals, everything that he created. Here's the thing, he caused them to live. Hindi lang siya basta gumawa. He caused them to live. Tayo minsan gagawa, magluluto, magimbento, or kano man ang gusto nating gawin. We will be able to create, but these things no will not cause them to live. We cannot cause them to live actually. Number two, sabi natin, God created a perfect world. It was supposed to be a perfect world. 
Number two, God did not work by accident or chance. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, hindi ka aksidente. No, you, you, you're not here by chance. One good thing about our God is that our God does not play dice. Imagine, ano kaya ang itsura ni, ni, uh, sis, ni, ni, ni Brother Rave? No? Uh, magda-dice na lang ako. No. He created you no, as who you are. Kaya wag, don't be, don't be uh, kumbaga ashamed of your color or kung pang man ang ilong mo or kung kulot man ang buhok mo or whatever. You were created by God. He designed you kung sino ka. Because our God doesn't play dice. In fact, there's a lot of atheists today who claim that we just came from a Big Bang Theory. Right? We all knew this. We, we heard about this in school. Actually, this is the, the that, that is being thought no? in science when we were in grade school, in high school. Well, good for you if you're studying, if you studied in a Catholic uh, school or a Christian school. Aside from this, you'll get the creation story. But if you are studying in a, in a, you know, a normal school, you get the Big Bang Theory. What is a Big Bang Theory? Everything came from nothing. Everything came from a Big Bang. There, be, there, there was earth because of a big boom, bang. And just everything were... were were its proper places. But come to think of it, now you have your iPhones with you. This, this iPod is very complicated, right? Why? Now, sometimes people will buy smartphones, but they don't maximize it. They buy, they, they buy smartphones, but they don't use it smartly. Why do we call it smartphones? Because this was created by a smart person. Imagine if you will talk to a, an atheist. Pero napansin niyo ba, yung mga atheist, they always talk of something they don't believe. <laughs> they always talk about God. Kasi if you don't believe of something, you don't talk about it kasi nga you don't believe it. Pero they will always engage in debate. Why, why so passionate about proving that there is no God? In fact, esod ka na, there's no God. Because there is something in you that is hardwired, searching, looking, hoping there is this, that there is this pre, uh, supreme being. No? that can provide for you, love you, give you directions. Now, probably an atheist would tell you, oh, you see, everything, just, you know, people, we all came from apes, and these apes, you know, were like the early creatures of the old earth, and the earth was formed because of the Big Bang. But try to ask that person, If, if those paintings or uh, posters or, or letters, were they, were they designed by a writer or a, something like a creator or something? And they would say yes. How about, how about this iPad? Were this designed by a, a creator or, a, or a, an, an inventor or a manufacturer? They would say yes. Because that is science. So if we will try to relate on that kind of theory that everything came from boom, bang, and then everything fell in its proper place, then supposedly, 2020 until now, we can still experience and witness that kind of theory. And in fact, wala naman ganun. So how can you rely on that kind of theory? 
Let's just be clear. Theory is not facts. Okay? Theory are just, in Tagalog, sa pantaha. Baka sakali, tama. So why would I rely in a theory na baka sakali, tama, if I can rely on a beautiful God who is so sure no, that He can assure us that we were created in accordance with His image and likeness. I don't know with you, I don't want to be associated with an ape. Right? Here's the thing. God did not work by accident or chance. He had complete control of everything. We can see this because of His control over time. In fact, He is beyond time. God created the sun so that it would be it would appear at the right time at each day. Remember, tignan nyo na lang yung, yung araw. Sabi nga, may kasabihan, bukas, um, may bukas pa. Sisikat din ang araw. Lagi may pag-asa. And God, and God is so faithful that every day, He allows the sun to rise up. No? To, 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 uh, to, uh, to, to, for us to witness the beautiful sunrise. He created the seasons of the year. We have winter, spring, summer, or fall. Parang kanta lang. Mas pinadali niya sa Pilipinas. Tag-araw at tag-ulan. Diba? Dalawa lang dun eh. He arranged the movements of the moon and the stars in the sky at night. These things do not happen by chance. Do you agree with that? Even science will not agree that these things will, will happen by chance. Uh, uh, they all happen at the right time because this is God's plan. It all happened because our God is omnipotent, our God is omniscient. Number three, God still has a perfect time things to happen. God still has a perfect time for things to happen. Jesus was born at the right time. No, We will be celebrating Christmas like what? 19 days from now? It was because of this story, Matthew 1.17. So all the generations from Abraham to David was 14 generations and from David until the exile to Babylon. 14 generations and from the exile to Babylon until the Messiah, 14 generations. God has a perfect time for things to happen. Jesus was born at the right time. Even in Galatians 4.4, 4, it says, When the time came to completion, God sent His Son, born of a woman, born under the law. No? Hindi, siya, hindi siya siya more cut. In fact, that was a humble birth. And Jesus no, will return. Not only He was born in the perfect time, but He will return at the right time. No? Matthew 24, 36, no one, no one knows the day or hour. Now concerning that day and hour, no one knows. Neither the angels of heaven nor the, the Son, except the Father alone. God, our Father, has decided these things. And He still has a perfect plan. In Ephesians 1, 9-12, it says, he made known to us the mystery of His will, according to His good pleasure that He purposed in Christ as planned for the right time to bring everything together in Christ, both things in heaven and things on earth on Him. So COVID-19 will soon be gone because in, according, in accordance to His perfect time. In Him, we have also received an inheritance because we were predestined according to the plan of the One who works out everything in agreement with the purpose of His will so that we who had already put our hope in Christ might bring praise to His glory. See, lang, we can study God, but we can put Him under a microscope or test Him in a laboratory. 
we can only confidently know about Him what He chooses to reveal to us. We are also confident that we, that He chooses to tell us, to tell us is profitable and useful for us. Number four, tell the person next to you, God is perfect. God is perfect. God did not create the world so that there would be wars, cruelty, or evil behavior. He wanted men and women to be his friends. That is the idea na mess up lang natin. So he gave them a perfect world. Eden was a perfect world. But don't worry. There will be another paradise for us to live eternally. For us to live in eternity. In fact, during those times, you know, when he created Adam and Eve, he provided plants as their food. Alam niyo ba, Ilocano talaga si Adam at Eve? Kasi, kasi napansin niyo, I, I never realized, no, if you will just fo- if you will focus on your reading, mapapansin mo, there are like few things na madalas natin binabasa, pero hindi natin napapansin. It was mentioned there na fruit bearing trees, plants. Those were the idea of God for them to eat. Kaya pala madami tayong sakit ngayon, panay kasi kain natin ng <laughs> pork belly, <laughs> lahat ng mga mantika. Pero ito pala idea ng Lord, ano? Kaya tayo yung kadamihan ng mga, mga matatanda sa probinsya, lalakas ang katawan kasi gulay yung kinakain nila. Pansin niyo yung mga Ilocano kasi madalas silang kumakain ng gulay. Kaya magaganda yung katawan nila, very healthy sila. Kaya napansin ko, Ilocano yata to si Adam at si Eve. Number five, as we end, God is generous and kind. Amen? We started the, the Sunday of Advent last week with the story of uh, us giving with generosity. This is not new because we just, uh, sabi nga, in the image and likeness of God, eh sinong gagayahin natin? Eh di si Lord. Kung si Lord generous, we need also to be generous, right? God is generous and kind and God's attitude have never changed. Yun good news. He was generous before. No? He provided for Adam and Eve. He provided for the early people. He provided for those people that He loved. He provided for those people that who doesn't love Him. And He never changed. In Hebrews 13.8, it says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So let us be encouraged that Jesus is in perfect control of our situation today. But as we shall see, ilang ang sablay, sa chapter 3, yung fall of man, no? hindi sila naging loyal sa Panginoon. This is the reason for the troubles in this world. It's not because of God. It's because of our wrongdoings. Never ever blame God of what is happening today. You see, we're just like Israel, blaming God for what had happened to them when they were captured by Babylon, by Assyrian Empire, by Persian Empire, by Grecian Empire, by Roman Empire. Lahat na ng empire, sinakop sila eh. Napansin niyo ba, wala namang pinagkaiba sa ating mga Pilipino? Sinakop tayo ng Kastila, sinakop tayo ng Hapon, sinakop tayo ng Amerikano. Lahat na sumakop sa atin eh. Mukhang nagbabanta pa itong China. <laughs> Pero sa totoo lang, is it because God intended for us to be engaged in a war? No. It is because of our wrongdoings. Because of the wickedness of the kings of Israel. No, They were captured by many empires. And this will happen also in our lives. Those empires, those were the bad things that will happen in our lives if we continue to make wrong decisions. God never wanted His people to suffer. Let's just be clear about that. Let us not, please, let us not 
say that, oh, God is punishing us, or God is so, oh, this is the wrath of God 2020. No. It is because there is something that we did, something that is wrong, and we need to ask for forgiveness from the Lord. Eh, saan ba nang galing yung COVID? Kumain ka ba naman ng panik? Eh, di siyempre. Magkaka-COVID ka. Kalaan nyo ba kakalat sa buong mundo? Di ba? At hirap na hirap tayo. But let us be encouraged that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Even in the origin of marriage, the Lord God said that they, napansin na Lord, no, it is not good for man to be alone. I will make a companion and helpmate for him. Every land, animal, and every of the air was brought to Adam, and he named them. But none of the animals were a fit companion for Adam. Ah, Lord, hindi ko ata napansin ang sarili ko na bagay kami ni Lion. Good thing, God provides. God is generous. God gave him a gift. That's why if you are a husband, Look at your beautiful wife. Tell her, you are a gift from God. No? Parang si Eve, you are a gift from God. Tapat medyo malagkit yung pagkakatingin mo. So, God caused Adam to fall asleep and took out one of his ribs. From this rib, God created woman as a companion and helpmate for man. Imagine even here, God is generous and kind. We see that God breathed into man the bread of life because He is generous and kind. Hindi lang siya gumawa ng clay. He, he, breathed, he breathed no a breath of life. So God is the author of life. Mankind creation is declared as fact and is contrary to the molecules to man theory that continuously changes just like the Big Bang theory. The Bible is not necessarily a science book about the heavens. Although, it does contain some scientific facts, yes. But remember, it is a book about how to get there. And there is only one way to get there. Let us be reminded in Acts 4.12 as we end. There is salvation in no one else. For there is no other name under heaven given to people by which we must be saved. Sabi nga ngayon ng mga kabataan, alam na this. And His name is Jesus. Let us be reminded 